Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good morning. Thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Tuesday, the third day of August 2021. And our topic for today is Perfect Obedience. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we are grateful for the privilege of coming before you again. Thank you for putting in us the desire for your word. We ask today that you would help us with the capacity to obey in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. 1 Samuel 15, 22 reads, And Samuel said, Had the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. 1 Samuel 15, verse 22. And our scripture reading for today is from the same book of 1 Samuel chapter 15, We'll be reading verse 22 to 23 now. 1 Samuel 15 verse 22 to 23 reads, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. And Saul said unto Samuel, I have sinned, for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and thy words, because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. God bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. In our devotional today, our Father in the Lord tells us that it is needless to reiterate that perfect obedience to God and his word helps us to set our priorities right. Sacrifice is good. God expects all his children to present their bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to him. Romans 12 verse 1. However, God prefers obedience to sacrifice. 1 Samuel 15 verse 22 says, Had the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. Obedience is an act of doing and being willing to do what one is told to. In a spiritual sense, obedience is total submission to the written and spoken word of God. Obedience is an express commandment of God. One distinguishing characteristic of all who are great in the service of the Lord is prompt obedience. The Bible is full of stories of men and women who became great for God as a result of their complete and immediate obedience to the word of God. Heroes of obedience include Abraham, Joshua, Ruth, David, Elijah, Elisha and our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their closed places. Psalm 18 verse 44 to 45 True and perfect obedience comes from a heart of love. It is real and not mere eye service. Boldness is a vital ingredient of perfect obedience. Peter and other disciples boldly confronted the Jewish elders when they chose to preach, saying they would rather please God and displease men. Acts 14 verse 19 says, Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than God, judge ye. Acts 14 verse 19 Are you facing persecution because of your obedience to Christ? Don't give up. Don't compromise your stand. Obedience cannot be done halfway. Partial obedience is equal to disobedience. Disobedience is rebellion which is as the sin of witchcraft. 1 Samuel 15 verse 23 Partial obedience was the undoing of the first king of Israel, Saul. Obedience starts with knowing the will of God, then carrying out his directives promptly and completely. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. The title of our topic today is Perfect Obedience. It is common knowledge that if there is perfect obedience, then 
the reverse would be imperfect obedience. But today our focus would be on perfect obedience. In our memory verse and scripture reading for today, we see the story of the first king of Israel, Saul. More study of that chapter would reveal that he had actually obeyed to an extent but did not completely obey as God had instructed him to. And because of this, all of his efforts were rejected. He was even rejected as king over God's people. This tells us the need to understand what perfect obedience is. Praise the Lord. In our devotional today, we could pick some characteristics of perfect obedience that we see. We learn today that although God enjoys sacrifice, but he enjoys obedience even better. One of the characteristics of perfect obedience that we see today is that it is not only the act of doing what one is told to do, but being willing to do that which you are told to do. These are two different things now. Sometimes you may have to complain before you go on to do that thing. That is not perfect obedience. No wonder the scripture tells us that God loves a cheerful giver. This cuts across all aspects of our Christian experience. Our obedience, even our offerings, must be done cheerfully, out of a willing heart. Another characteristic of perfect obedience we can find in our devotional today is that it is prompt. It does not delay. It does not drag its feet. It does not try to make a sense of it. For perfect obedience, the moment that it is realized that this is the will of God, it is followed by obedience immediately. It does not try to sleep over the matter. I want to believe this is the kind of obedience that Abraham had. No wonder he was called the friend of God. In Genesis chapter 12, we see that after God had told him to leave his father's house, verse 4 says, So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. He obeyed expressly. When it came to the time of sacrificing Isaac his son, Genesis 22 verse 3 records, And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass. That was prompt obedience. We receive the grace for prompt obedience today in Jesus' name. Amen. We learn also that perfect obedience comes from a heart of love, not eye service, not pretend in order to please the one who had sent you. We learn also that it comes with boldness. It is without fear for anyone. We trust God today to boldly face every situation challenging us, and to perfectly obey God's will for us in that situation in Jesus' name. Another character of perfect obedience that we see is that it does not compromise its stand. It is not done halfway, as partial obedience is equal to disobedience. And we learned that this was the undoing of Saul, the first king of Israel. We learned that God prefers obedience to sacrifice. Sacrifice cannot replace obedience, no matter how much it is. And to obey promptly, and completely. We trust God for the grace to do so in Jesus' name. We we'll bow our heads now and ask the Lord for that strength, the ability to be obedient completely to His will, not just to know His will for us, but to be able to follow through with it. Say, Father, grant me that grace today. I receive it in the name of Jesus. All forms of imperfect obedience I have been struggling with, I overcome them today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our Lord and King, our Father in heaven, we bless your name for this word today. We ask you God today for the grace to walk in your perfect will for us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today we have a key point that tells us obedience is better than sacrifice and would be obedient people in Jesus' name. Amen. In our Bible in one year reading plan for today, we read from the book of Job chapter 27 and chapter 28. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us today. We are delighted to have you. God bless you immensely. We believe you have been blessed also. If you love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this daily, please send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. You can also bless someone today when you share this with them. Go forth today and enjoy perfect obedience according to God's will for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.